All right, we got a Vengeance 320A coming in at 11,785 pounds. Forest River's number one toy hauler in Michigan here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Not a coincidence, this is our number one selling series of toy haulers. Very good reason for that. Uh, these are 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. They're what I like to call like just an awesome working man's toy hauler. They have everything you need, nothing you don't. You're paying for all the important stuff in a toy hauler. You're not paying for extra fluff and just visual uh, gimmicks, you know. Everything that matters is here. The things that don't matter are not. Like we've got an adequate pass-through storage. That's actually quite large. You could put one of those folding picnic tables down there, for instance. They have a painted front nose cap, which is kind of a best-in-class feature. A lot of guys are using color-infused nose caps. The difference being this is not going to sun fade on you. Um, they've got a pretty good sheen on the uh, skin here, though this is not uh, what is technically a true high gloss, but they do a good job shining it up. We have, uh, there's a lot of options present in this video, guys. Like, this is generator prepped with a uh, fuel station. It has a shared 30-gallon fuel cell. Uh, you know, I always forget to turn on the nose lights. This has an awesome nose lighting package. Of course, uh, it doesn't help that I'm getting the worst possible backlighting from the sun right now. Here, let me take a knee. There we go. Try to drown out some of that sun. So, uh, all of our windows, um, you know, are, are quite large to give us good looks inside, to give us lots of interior ambient light. This does have an enclosed underbelly. And they're also really smart about, uh, you know, end user features like the little sewer hose caddy right here so that you don't have to worry about finding a place to uh, you know store your sewer hose inside with all of your camping cargo all their your water docking stuff can still go right here so you've got a perfect uh, you know kind of tucked away position for all of that um, you know just even the little jack drop legs here so that you can get your front legs down to the ground a little quicker and not sit here pushing your power motor button for a year and a half um, your slide out walls this is this has a seal gripping slide wall. If you look at the skin, yeah, perfect. You can see how rough and textured, sandpapery that is. That is what's pulling this seal all the way in or all the way out, so you don't have a crimped seal. If you have a crimped seal, look at that. Water can just poke its way right in. This seal's not going to allow that to happen. Um, I think last year this was our best-selling Vengeance model, and for good reason. It's it, there's just there's just a lot of coach here. Um, you know these all ride on a nicer Equiflex suspension system in the uh, um, Super Sport laminated series. Now there's four Vengeances, so let's run through those. We've got Vengeance Super Sport, which is actually a wood frame constructed, pure price point um, design trailer. It's very rock solid, but it is totally not fancy by design. Then we've got Vengeance Super Sport Laminated, starting to get some fun features. Then we've got Vengeance Laminated. Um, you know, you can throw Platinum Editions on that. This can be pretty sharp. Then, uh, for the totally jazzed up one, we have Vengeance Touring. So there's kind of the four members of the family for you. But this big, e I mean, that's big, Equal Flex Suspension System, that's going to do uh, a great job of soaking up shocks and jolts going down the road. So this thing actually, I mean, this is made for people that go, people that do. Toy haulers are, are not made to sit. You know, this is designed for someone that's on the road. That's why we like to put the gen prep on them. That's why we like to put the fuel stations. That's why these have the nicer suspension. So you can go out, you can do. If you look above your baggage door or your uh, rear garage door, you see these uh, floodlights. Those are rigid brand LED floodlights and they are pretty aggressive. And the, uh, the idea there is, the, you know when you go down the road, you see those four by fours with the big overhead lighting? That's who makes those, rigid. Well, <laughs> there you go, that's what this has. Uh, these have like a 20 foot power awning, just push of one button and they run in and out. They've got LED lighting underneath. We have dual friction hinged entry doors. Uh, this is really cool because if the wind is uh, whipping you around pretty hard, this thing isn't going to slam shut. Oh, they actually put a strut on this one, even better. Uh, we've got triple entry steps on both front and rear doors. We've got amazing um, sound systems on these. That's a big thing in the toy haulers is your entertainment packages. Now you see we've also got the patio party deck on here. And you can thank Vengeance for the fact that these are basically standard in so much of the industry now. Um, they were one of the first to just really attack it and go after it. And uh, that, that, this, is, this is the brand that has really dictated why a lot of these are in the marketplace now. So your load ramp in, uh, in the loading position has a 3,000 pound load limit and the patio position has a 1,500 pound limit. That's plenty. That's generally going to be enough for four people. Picnic tables, food, all that good stuff. They went to a little different patio system here. It's a quick set patio. It just swings in and out. You don't have to worry about latching it down. It's, it actually has these little simple foot release locks. It's just much, much easier to operate. 
um, the uh, Happy Jack bed lift system. This is something we pretty much put in all these at this point. Because it can become and do anything and it gives more, just way more function and feature to an already outstanding unit. For instance, we can use these as, uh, we, you can fold these both down and it makes like a giant king size bed. You see we've already got the, the big extra wide bed on top and this is extra wide. This is a true 102 inch wide body toy hauler. Not everything in this price point is wide body. You'll find a lot of eight wides and 100 wides. 102 is your biggest sweet spot and that's what gives you the ability to have like two full dressers next to one another. Now, when these are in the up position, the bed's all the way against the ceiling and these sofas can, can flip a couple different ways. They can, they can ride horizontally right under that bed or they can flip down vertically against the sidewall. So this RV gives you either maximum load width or height depending on what you want. And any one of these fixtures is easily removable. Just a couple bolts hold it in place. So if you want to uh, take them down, you can. We like to include these little indoor outdoor rugs right here because especially with this Happy Jack bed system, it converts this rear area from just a garage into a bunkhouse, a second living room, a screened in three seasons room with a little screen wall you see hanging down there. I want that visible, but a little bit out of the way for us. Um, you can you can make this anything you want, you know, it's it, that's what's so cool about these They're very flexible craft room game day man or woman cave whatever you want it to be now These are dovetailed for easy loading. You've got at least nine um, heavy-duty D-rings down here um, Here let me flip this up so you can take a look at one of those. I've got them all covered up currently. There we go There's one so these have a 5,000 pound rated capacity. They've pull tested them for more, but that's all the lawyers will let them say. They are recessed into the ground. And uh, where those screws are drilled through, they're pumped full of a glue called Cicaflex, which is literally the stuff holding your windshield in your car. It's pretty extreme product. It's the kind of stuff that if you ever saw your hands glued together with this stuff, you'd be pretty much uh, in trouble. They are still including taller diamond plate at the base down here uh, for like uh, foot pegs and, and a kick plate so that you don't accidentally, if you lose your balance a little bit or you just don't load as straight as you think, you're not gonna dig up the panels of your wall. You're gonna have a layer of protection there. Now, you'll have inside, outside, living room and bedroom TV zones. This is a four zone entertainment system. The way we tend to equip this product, because again, we're looking for the stuff you need, not all the extra fluff. Will tend to include a nice TV in the living room and if you want to add little TVs to other areas you're welcome to do that or let us know what you need and maybe we can get that included for you but give us the call and give us a chance and we can probably make that kind of stuff happen. Now you have blackout window shades here so uh, these are you know wall huggers so that your handlebars aren't going to rip them off the walls and they are blackout. If you don't want people nosing around in here whether you're using this for sleeping and you want nighttime privacy or let's just say you got a nice shiny Goldwing or Harley or something back here and you just don't want people nosing at it which I understand that. Well you can pull those shades down but you can still see your switches because they're all backlit. So you can see exactly where your, uh, you know, where your light sources are at. And they put this bed control switch up high. The idea being that little kids who may not understand consequence yet aren't going to be able to reach it. Bigger kids who should understand consequence hopefully aren't going to crush their brothers with it. Um, though there is actually a, 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 a tension um, system built right into this. So as soon as it reaches so much tension, it amps out and it quits. So your kids can't really squish each other, <laughs> which is a good thing. Now, I've purposely left this here in the pass-through door, the ladder in the way, because I've had some people say, yeah, but with that ladder there, you can't go in and out of the garage. I've got one hand. Here's how difficult it is. You push forward and you walk through. There you go, guys. No mystical, magical anything. That's all the more complicated it is. Now, when we get in here, I want to point out how there are lights everywhere. They are not shy about lighting in here. We've got, uh, you know, one switch lighting and this extra tall slide. They've got LED accent lighting all over the place. And by the way, this stuff at night is the perfect um, like night light. Now we also have um, ple or, uh, pardon me, plantation wooden blinds in your main super slide and in your kitchen opposing slide. These are great looking. They can give you more privacy. They'll black out the sun basically. Um, they're also much more rugged and easy to clean. You know, you get the, uh, the privacy benefit uh, of uh, night shades without the uh, chance of them like failing, you know. Um, We've got little under counter accent lighting down here. We've got extra overhead kitchen lighting. So you've got lights in every single specific area of this thing. Then you come over here, we've got lighting behind the TV. Again, this TV will be included. We've simply already removed it uh, before I was able to get to this RV for this video. Come up here, we've got more switches. And again, they're all backlit so we can see what we're doing at night. 
more of that beautiful accent lighting. We've got your direct kitchen lighting in here. Uh, actually, this is lighting inside of these cabinets. How cool is that? How cool is that? You've got these nice shadowed uh, windows here, and uh, this actually goes all the way through. You can see all the way through this. And this is where this model was vastly improved from last year. Last year, none of this cabinetry was here. The storage in this thing was its downfall. So they said, not a problem. Watch us, we're just gonna bulk up all this kitchen cabinet, island storage, everything. All of this didn't exist last year. It is so awesome to see how these guys just continue to grow and improve. And then one switch, double bank LED lighting for the ceiling. And look how it's lit up in here now. You can really light this thing up. So we've got the, the full uh, four seat recliner, individual reclining party couch, those are wall huggers, so each of those can kick back. There is a little dining table that you can slide into those pedestals down there. So this can have, a, you know, a, this can be a dinette, a lounge, a dual recliner. You can have that table there and still kick these side recliners out, by the way. So there's, everyone gets something for them in this one. Let's look at all this kitchen storage real quick, because there is a ton of it. We've got all this drawer space going on over here. These are all ball bearing uh, full extension glides, so it's just easy to get to all your storage. And they're actually putting real hardware you can actually get your hands on in this thing. Um, the uh, under sink storage is massive. Big pots and pans storage going on down there. More drawers. Now we've got a floor to ceiling pantry going on over here basically. Now they don't run it all the way up to the ceiling because then it would be difficult to reach. Uh, they use that space above. Uh, in a different area of the RV. We'll get to that in just a second. Now, this has extra tall slide outs. I mean, you, you see how this is an extra tall ceiling because they have that linear profile coming in from the garage. It is arched outside, but they kept it going straight uh, all the way up uh, through the living area. So that makes room for extra overhead cabinets here. Now notice they don't put a microwave up top because that would be really dumb. If you're gonna mount a microwave this high, you're probably gonna spill something hot on yourself and burn you, your kids, whoever. So they mount that right down there. And that is a convection microwave oven. Instead of putting a, uh, an oven in here, a standard oven, gas oven that 99% of people don't use, and that's being generous. I'm sure the number's actually higher than that. They put a convection microwave in here that almost everybody's going to use. Then they recess the stove top with a tempered glass cover here that can be uh, a grease guard, it can be uh, uh, anything, it can be extra countertop space. So you've got more counter space here, we've got a bigger counter space here than we've ever had before, and all of the counters are a pressed membrane uh, waterproof countertop. That allows them to have these fitted sink covers and an undermounted sink. So you've got a bigger sink than ever, more counter space than ever, more cabinet space than ever, yet this thing is still one of the price leaders within its class. And these, you can actually use as countertop space for real. Now, uh, the space I was talking about up here, they use in different ways. That comes in from the loft bunk area. So this has a wrap around, extremely private upper bunk space up here. And uh, if you don't need it as a bunk, that is the perfect addict. Uh, you know, if you need just extra storage for totes, uh, we've had a lot of folks who are, I, I tell you, these vengeances with pipeliners, oh my gosh, have they been so popular. Because there's people who are like, no, I'm using this for work. Um, I just need something that can, uh, you know, sleep me and accommodate me and all my stuff that I bring around but I'm not living in the Ritz-Carlton. That's exactly who these are for. It's everything you need, nothing you don't. You know, everything that matters, nothing that doesn't. Uh, electric fireplace down here is awesome in this class because it helps you uh, heat the RV without burning up your propane. That is an electric only appliance and it's not gonna run on 12 volt, by the way. So you do need part power for that. Remember the TV's gonna be included. Bluetooth stereo for your entertainment. You've got, like I said, outside entertainment options. Now, this is one of my favorite things. Here's the door. Here's the bathroom. You don't have to monkey with slides. You can hop in and out and get to this thing easy peasy. And their floor covering, I like that floor covering. That is good. So we've got a big, big shower for big people, the big bright skylight. I don't even have the lights on in here. And this bathroom is tall guy friendly. Whether you are balding or not, you uh, can still use this bathroom uh, easily. 
Remember those nice countertops I was telling you about? They use those throughout the entire RV. They don't scale down to a press, uh, you know, a Formica countertop here just to save a few bucks. They just use better materials where they can. Um, foot flush stool here, lots of leg room. So whether you're a tall guy like me and you need leg room, or when you get out of the shower and you need places to get dressed, you have it here. And this is a uh, obscure member of the Cherokee family. They've really deviated from the standard Cherokee model quite a bit at this point. We've watched Vengeance since their inception. We were one of their very first dealers. And, uh, you know, this is one of those things that they kept. A best-in-class, huge medicine cabinet. And it sounds silly, but again, you need every ounce of storage you can get. All, those, all this nice countertop space, you don't want that covered up with your shavers and blow dryers and stuff. You want that out of the way. You want this to look nice and clean and open so that you don't have an aneurysm because it looks cluttered. We do have a sliding privacy door here for the bedroom uh, around the corner here. You'll see that we have privacy doors there as well. They purposely slot these doors. They purposely make them not go all the way to the ceiling so that you can have air exchange between the living room and the bedroom so you can run like a power vent fan to exhaust heat here when you're not running your air conditioners. Now this is awesome. This is a pure storage slide. This is, you see that framework there. This is all one big slide out. So you've got his and hers, or hers and his, or hers and hers, whatever, closets. Extra dr uh, dresser space down here. Now they still include a cross breeze window in their slide out. That is an area, again, another just way more intelligent feature. They've got more of those little accent lights up there. Uh, well, not even accent lights. I mean, these are legitimate bright lights right here. Um, now, at, on top of all that storage, that's already more storage than most bedrooms and fifth wheel toy haulers have. They basically double it because you've got all this extra storage up here. Above the bed, you've got another closet on that side. You do have um, CPAP, like our uh, phone charging outlets on both sides. They leave that um, wall a little bit more open to set like alarm clocks and phones and things like that. And this is, because this is truly wide body, this is one of the most easily walked around beds you can find out there. Now what's nice is you can always just cheat it a little bit and scoot it with your knees if you need to get to one side or the other even easier. Um, and once again, another little uh, TV prep station right here. These are 50 amp service. So if you want to add a second air conditioner, it is ready to do that. You don't need to spend a bunch of extra money to make that happen. Frankly, if something's not already 50 amp service, you can't add a second AC anyway. Not with the ability to run both at the same time. So sometimes we'll bring these in with two airs. Right here, we brought in with one air. Remember, the one that we're looking at could be a little different than the one that we have in stock. So you know, if you're ever not sure about something, if you're only on YouTube, Click down here, it says click for price and availability. That's no joke. That'll take you to our list of fifth wheel toy haulers. It'll show you what we have in stock and its price with its own set of equipment. That's all the harder this is. We Everything is one click away. Length, weight, we publish all that stuff so that you can make a better, easier uh, you know, purchase decision. And that's why we've become uh, one of the very largest places in Michigan. Um, you know, we, uh, and again, we're one of the guys that helped make this the best seller in Michigan. And frankly, they made it easy for us because, wow, is there a lot of good stuff going on here. So give us a call, learn more. We also do uh, hitching, pieces, parts, financing. We do trucks. If you need a truck to go with this for a package deal, we do everything here, guys. 800-256-5196, um, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun. Happy camping, everyone.